right, welcome back to a brand new video of the Target the program to have uh, What's going on here? Both of them are wearing brown. She's wearing the So what I talk about, right? When I start talk about whenever I start up my day, they will um, use certain colors, right? So the fact that the, the dude walking all the way down there again, try to do synchronization as I walk up my building, but you know how to um, uh, text Pam and let her know I'm on my way. So it kind of threw off the synchronization, right? Uh, so yeah, so let's see. They're going to be using a lot of color brown today. All right, remember I talked about how they will introduce certain colors to me, All right? Whether it be in the house using, using family members or you know just the, just how certain things are being done. You know, to let you know, to let me know, I should say. All right, the little kid. Yeah, they even get these little kids involved. You know, watching my crotch <laughs> as he drove his bike by past me right <laughs> so again I, I see another jacket brown jacket All right oh yeah it's a lot of color brown it's still brown I don't even have a brown jacket. <laughs> I need to get one. Okay. I got the I got jackets for colors they use in my target. Okay. Yeah. Yes, King. Alright. Yes, King, yes, King. Yo. Oh yeah. So I woke up this morning in New York Predator Department again. I have no monitoring. All right. Um, I was reading an article about uh, a hacking scheme in which uh, people download a malware onto their phones and they're able to hack into their accounts and stuff like that. They've been withdrawing people uh, money from the accounts. They've been, um, you know, doing other things, right? And these these malware are so sophisticated that they avoid detection, right, on the affected system. So if you if you are if you run an analysis on your phone or if anybody run an analysis on an infected phone it is able to avoid detection that's pretty damn uh, look, well. all right so why the number why is that there 120 i was just about to explain it to you guys see that damn i'm good damn i'm good it just should just happen automatically sometimes you know how i know they was going to talk about with the number one right I'm going to tell you, I'm just telling you the story. So, I was reading and it says that it even uh, steal your one-time password. All right? And when I was reading, I'm not reading out loud now, I'm reading internally. All right? And as I get to the point where it says uh, it will even uh, steal your one-time password, one time, New York Police Department began using these sirens. And then, as I'm, and there's a reason why they parked that van on the sidewalk, right? And they said, what does it say? Uh, uh, one, and then it's the number 20, right? <laughs> so, yeah, there's a reason. Uh, you just hit him again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was touching himself, feeling on himself. Go in your home and do that shit. In private, in your bedroom, or the bathroom, whatever the fuck you do it. <laughs> Anyhow, um, yeah. So again, there's a reason why they do these things. There's a reason, right? So when we talk about neurocognitive warfare, cognitive warfare, neurocognitive warfare involves the use of drugs, the use of foreign 
devices implanted into the brain or the, the body to affect the mind. Right? It's VSTIs for those of us who've been uh, microchipped. Okay. Look, brown, color brown. All right. See, what did I say, man? What did I say? What did I say, right? Hey, ways of how they introduce colors to me. Shit that they do. Look, wearing a brown jacket. I missed, what was it, three buses? Look at that shit, three buses. She didn't even, I just uh, stretched my arm out so she would stop. She was a woman driving the bus there. She didn't even stop. Okay? She did not even stop. So that means uh, I got to wait for another bus to come in. And uh, that's three buses, okay? Three local buses. And that, I was going, I could take that bus, but that, that bus is, uh, won't stop over here. Look at that shit, three buses? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I, saw that, I saw that bus, this one, behind the one in front right here. So she didn't stop, and I came out the store, I got some change. Got another brown jacket, maybe another brown jacket. A lot of browns, a lot of browns. Anyhow, um, eh, you know, it is what it is. It is what it is. Look, dude, you, you driving your vehicle, you got your hands folded. <laughs> Look at that ridiculous shit. License plate LLA6030. Driving the vehicle, I got his hands all folded. Look, they're coming out. They got to do that shit. I talk about it come out here with the money. And why you come out here showing me five dollars? <laughs> because all I have is five dollars in my wallet. Okay? <laughs> I had to use some money to go get some change and I have five dollars in my wallet. So they'll show me. Again, they'll show me. And they just they used to do this all the time. You know, they have people people who walk, walk with, with jerseys on. So if I if, if I had like twenty dollars in my wallet, there'd be somebody walking by with twenty dollars. If I go uh, to the store, spend that, get some change, whatever it may be. It could be $18, uh, $19. They have somebody with a shirt with the same number. Right? So they have a shirt that says $19. Right? So, the shit that they used to do all the time, man. All the freaking time. Okay? So I'm glad I'm able to ex uh, expose what it is that they're doing. Right? So you guys can see exactly how they, they do certain things. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. So now that all three buses, one after the next, is there another bus coming? No, I don't see one. I gotta look at the schedule to see what's going is a terrorist state. Are you still on there? Okay. You know, I was, I was listening. Friday, it was not Friday. Thursday, I was helping my daughter with her homework. And I swore I was suffering from dyslexia. Yeah, my daughter was like, Dad, you get me confused. I was like, I'm sorry. I had to like really refocus and, you know, get my thoughts together because, you know, yeah, because I was writing um, uh, a comma. And I was writing a comma backwards. <laughs> and my daughter was like, Daddy, that's not how you write a comma. And I'm saying to her, no, this is how you wrote it. This is, like, this is how you write it. Like, I'm, I was seriously... Uh, yeah, freaking talk about lady. Get damn wig. At least she got real hair. She's wearing her real hair. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you know? Looking ridiculous with a fake ass here on her head. I tell you, black people, nigga peers, man. 
not proud of who they are, not proud of their 50 year old woman, not proud of wearing their own hair. Right? That's self hatred. Every time I see a black woman with a wig, self hatred. You've been conditioned to self hatred. They've been conditioned to self hatred. Always wearing some wig. Always trying to be somebody else. Except for themselves and who they are. <laughs> right? And then he said, oh boy. <laughs> yeah, I know them pretty, pretty good, pretty good. Yeah, I'm recording. Yeah, I ain't, yeah, I ain't gonna get me mad. Y'all are mad. Yeah, I ain't gonna get me mad. Yeah, I ain't gonna get me mad. Okay. Yeah, so anyhow, um, as I was saying, yeah, you know, they always, always try to be somebody else, man. You know, you know, whether they're trying to be the strippers in the club and bring that stripper culture outside, or the porn actress trying to bring those porn actors that's, that's in, 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 in their lives, making them, making them understand that you know, a man ain't gonna respect you. He gonna sleep with you, but he ain't gonna respect you. You ain't gonna put no ring on your finger. All right? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You ain't gonna do that. You know, the culture that's being created in the black community is the F is the CIA, and we don't even understand that. The CIA have always been in control of our culture. That's why they can shape it, the narrative however they want. That's why they can create the negative, you know, shit that happens in our community. It's the CIA. You know, I wish we would read more about things like this, you know, the CIA and the shaping of American culture, the shaping of black culture, any thing that's negatively trending in the black community and black culture, that's the CIA. That's the CIA. That's, that's the data. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.